Hello! The beginning of the first chapter of the Gospel according to Matthew is what can be called Joseph's great moment, um, which seems a bit strange because uh, we know Joseph, the father of Jesus, and we have seen in iconographies and Holy Family and all of things. But it, it's not like he's having a lot of airtime, I would say, is important. He is important, but, you know, this feeling, you know, it's like someone would say, I'm not racist, but, no, never good, <laughs> never good. Yeah, it's important, but. Uh, in some texts, many texts, he will he will be presented as Jesus' stepfather or foster father, as you know Jesus have to be the son of God, so Joseph cannot be his father. That kind of relationship. Still, Joseph plays such an important part. Uh, in the unfolding of the Holy Story, and especially um, in this time of Advent. Because you see, Joseph, at one specific point in the story, Joseph has a choice. He could simply follow the rules, the norms, expectation of society, and when he discovered that Mary isn't pregnant, divorce her nobody will complain nobody will and will say a bad thing about Joseph he would have done the right thing and what would be expected of him the other option is to accept Mary as his wife and make this child which is not is according to the story make this child his child and and we know the rest of the story but this choice is not an easy one like i said it means going against what is considered normal in your society and we all know it's it's not always easy to add to all this position it's also mean for joseph most likely to um set aside maybe his dreams expectation is plans for the future maybe it did not uh, plan to start a family that way to have this kind of life and everything that came after that we know that he does not when he have to make a choice but we know and if he knew who knows who knows what kind of choice he would have made and this text is so important during this time of Advent. Advent, we're told that it's a time set aside to prepare ourselves for the infant Christ's birth. And we know the story. <laughs> we know the story. Yes, we prepare ourselves, but we know what is coming. Regardless of ministers are prepared or not, December 24th and December 25th will happen. We will read the story again. And yes, the magic will work, but we know what to expect. But what if this time of Advent would be a time set apart to prepare ourselves to what we do not know, what we haven't prepared, what we cannot control in our lives, the story that we don't that hasn't been written yet and there's so many examples in our lives of this reality that we have to face a choice and we don't know which direction to come personally if I can share one of mine I become a father through international adoption not necessarily the way that I've planned in my 20s but that's the reality that I was faced and the choice I had to make. Maybe for other, those difficult choice, those difficult dilemma could be about the profound transformation the Church of God is going through right now. And you stick with what is working, what is expected, what at work for so long, or you try something else that might ruffle some feathers change expectation of church people uh, there's so many life events 
that seems to point us in one direction. The society point us in one direction. Say, well, that's what you're expected to do. That's what is the quote unquote normal way. And yet we feel called to go in another direction. Sorry for the phone call. Sorry for the phone call. That's a real life ministry. So like I was saying that we're called to go another direction. Our lives is not often not what we expect. There's the expression I've been told often that we might have beautiful plans for the future, but life gets in the way. Well, for all of us during this time of Advent, we're invited, we're called to remember, to imagine how will we answer when we will face those tough decisions, those real challenges, those difficult dilemma. Would we go where we expected to go, where what is natural and safe to go, or would we go where God call us to go? Well, that's it for today. Sorry again for the phone. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, until next time, I'm Stefan Vermette. I'm the lectionary man, and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.